The following video asks us to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. There are many ways to solve quadratic equations, such as the quadratic formula, or completing the square, or graphing, um, or factoring. Now, factoring is actually the simplest way, however, it doesn't always work, which is the problem. So we start by having to factor x squared plus 6x minus 8. Now, you can't do this unless it's equal to 0. So if it's not equal to 0, then you've got to go back and, and manipulate to get it equal to 0. Well, we start by knowing that it's going to be factored kind of in a sense that you've got two things in parentheses times each other. And we know x times x gives us x squared. Our factors of 8 are 8 times 1 and 4 times 2. That's our only options to put into the other places because we, those two multiply together to give us 8. And then we've got to remember, well, we've got a um, uh, positive 6 to get. Well, 4 plus 2 to get, does give us 6. So it would make sense if our answer is x squared plus, plus, or x plus 4 times x plus 2. We check it, x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, 4 times x is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So you end up with x squared plus 6x plus 8. That is exactly what we started with. So our factorization is x plus 4 times x plus 2. Well, the reason this is so good is because of what's called the multiplication property of 0, which says a times any 0 equals 0. So if either one of those two parentheses equals 0, then we know we have a solution. Well, that's really easy to do. Let x plus 4 equal 0, that x is negative 4. Let x plus 2 equal 0, well, subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So when x equals negative 4, the part on the left equals 0, so x plus, or 0 times, well, it turns out to be negative 2 is 0. When x is negative 2, the one on the right equals 0. So your solution to this quadratic equation is x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 2. Very, very simple way to solve a quadratic equation.